Hi everyone, Heather Paris here, and I wanted to talk to you very briefly about prioritizing your relationship. Now I touched on this in the email that you got today, but I wanted to take a quick minute to talk to you about it here. So you need to prioritize your relationship. Listen, you're already a blended family, which means you've already had a divorce or some sort of breakup. You don't want to have that happen again. You can guarantee your success by creating a very solid foundation, a house that's on a rocky foundation foundation will crumble and fall apart. But if it's built upon a very solid foundation, it will last a lifetime. So you do that by prioritizing one another, spending time together, communicating with each other, and putting each other first. Parents first, everyone else second, and that includes the children. Now that doesn't mean that if there's an emergency or if there's a kid in crisis that you don't prioritize that. Of course you do, but normally parents have to come first and it's okay to take time out without the kids to spend time together, to go on date night, to have quality communication without the kids interrupting all of the time. So spend a few minutes each day reconnecting, go in your room, shut the door, lock the door if you have to. I know it's a little more difficult if you have little, little children or babies, um, but pretty much at any time of the day, you can tell children that are a little older to go into the room and that mommy and daddy need some time not to be disturbed. So every single day for a little bit of time, every single week for at least one night out, a date night or something, it doesn't have to be a ton of money. You don't have to spend money or go to dinner or things like that. You could just go to the mall and walk around and window shop or just take a drive somewhere or even if nothing else, Go sit out in the yard and just look at the stars. And then once a month, do something really special for each other. You know, when Thad and I first got together and we couldn't go out as much because some of the kids were a bit younger, we had a few nights where we would just have dinner in our bedroom and we would lock the door and I made a fancy meal and I brought a table and a candle in there and it was really romantic. So there's always a way that you can prioritize your relationship and spend time together without the babies. So please find that time prioritize your relationship, and have a wonderful week, everyone. I will talk to you again soon.